hi everyone in this uh, video tutorial i am going to show you the solution for this problem calculate the theoretical and the actual power generated on a darius micro turbine with blade length of 3 meters at the air speed of 10 meters per second our power coefficient is 0.35 so first that we're going to do is to determine our given so first is our power coefficient which is 0.35 this power coefficient we are going to use this only in solving the actual power of the micro turbine and then next now is our wind speed which is 10 meters per second and our blade length or our radius is 3 meters and our required for this problem we have the theoretical power and the actual power so uh, before we proceed, uh, may I request you to please support my YouTube channel Grow by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you. And now let's proceed to our solution. So first that we are going to solve here is the theoretical power denoted by the symbol Pt. Our formula is P is equal to 1 half times the density of air times the area times the cube of the velocity. So the density of air it is constant which is 1.225 kilogram per cubic meter. And the formula to solve for the area of the circle is pi r squared. Now we just use direct substitution since uh, our given was already there. So giving us Pt is equal to 1 half times the density of air which is 1.25 kilogram per cubic meter times the area which is pi times the radius or 3 meters square times the cube of the speed or the velocity which is 10 meters per second. Now we just solve it giving us 1 half times 1.25 kilogram per cubic meter times the times 28.2743 square meter times 1000 cubic meter per cubic second. So we just multiply it giving us 17,318.0295 kilogram by meter square per cubic second. And as you can see in our unit we can simplify it more with, uh, with the unit of watts. So we just extract meters per second giving us kilogram by meter per square second times meters per second and we know that kilogram by meter per square second is equal to newton so newton by meters per second is also equal to watts so now our final answer is 17,318.0295 watts or if you want to convert it with kilowatts we just divide it with 1,000 giving 17.32 kilowatts so that is the answer for the theoretical power of the micro turbine. If you noticed, we didn't use the value of the power coefficient because uh, theoretically or in solving theoretical power, we always assume that our power coefficient is 100% or which is equal to 1. So there is no use to put the power coefficient. So next now is the actual power denoted by the symbol Pa. So uh, the formula to solve uh, Pa is 1 half times the density of air times the area times the cube of the velocity. Now we use the power coefficient. So we just use again direct substitution since uh, we already have the given. And still we just use the density of air and at the same time use the formula for the area of a circle. So giving us 1 half times 1.25 kilogram per, per cubic meter times pi times the radius which is 3 meters times the square times uh, the cube of the speed or velocity which is 10 meters per second times 0 0.35 which is our power coefficient. So we just solve it giving us 1 half times 1.25 kilogram per cubic meter times 28.2743 square meter times 1000 cubic meter per cubic second times 0 0.35. We just multiply it giving us 6061.3031 kilogram by square meter per cubic second. And again, we 
just simplify our, our unit into watts by extracting meters per second, so giving us kilogram by meter per square second times meters per second, which is the same as newton times meters per second, which is also equal to watts. So our final answer for the actual power is 6061.3031 watts, or if you want to convert it with kilowatts, we just divide it with 1000, giving us 6.06 .06 kilowatts. So that's it for the actual power. And if you learned something in this video, again, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming videos.